Hello everyone. This is Muhammad Usman. Today I am going to tell you how to prepare your successful motivation letter or statement of purpose. Most important and personal documents for your application. Let us start. The main paragraphs or section include in the successful motivation letter or you can say statement of purpose. That is introductions, achievements, uh, academics, research interests, why you want to select this field, why you join this university or country goals after completion your study. You have to close the all answers related to these questions. How to start your work on these documents? First of all, focus on ideas and main points. Make your goals clear. It means provide a short preview of the rest of your letter. Why do you think that the university and the master's program are interesting and suitable for you? Focus on some of your strongest qualifications. Past experiences, international experiences are always relevant and qualities. Organize the middle paragraphs in terms of the qualification most relevant to the program to the least and you can also refer to your CV for more details. At the end, Conclude by restating your interest and show appreciation for the chance to prove yourself in the letter. In some cases, you can ask for a personal interview. Be personal and original. Give your readers some insight about you as an individual. Remember, this is a very personal document in which you are expected to prove that you are different from the rest of the applicants. And that your qualities, skills and qualifications make you suitable for participating in this program. Next step, first impression matter. First impression is the last impression as you ever hear about this. Whether it is the way your letter looks, the way it is organized and structures in paragraphs, the font size, the length of the letter or even the, even the first paragraph. The first impressions always cause. Be professional and consistent. Present your letter in a professional format, style and grammar. Have it checked for spelling mistakes and be consistent. For example, use the same font, the same abbreviations throughout the letter. Thanks. I hope this video will help you. At the end of this video, I will show you my own personal motivational letter. I hope this will help you to make your letter more successful and important documents. See, if you, you can see in the screen, this is my personal statement of purpose and motivation letter. At top you can see, this is the personal information related to me. My name is Mohamed Usman, a professional title, chemical engineer, my address, my contact, my email address, data birth, gender, mail, nationality. After that, you have to write to scholarship selection committee, either you are applying for a job or applying for a scholarship, you have to write here their contacts or where you want to apply here. To scholarship selection committee, uh, you can uh, type the date in front of that or uh, the bottom of the scholarship selection committee. After that, if you do about his her name, let's put that uh, I am showing here, dear sir or madam, if my name is Mohamed Usman, then I will write here. Dear Muhammad Usman, if you don't know his name, his name, her name, you can write here, dear sir and madam. This is start. Uh, my introduction, my name is Muhammad Usman, son of Muhammad Rizwan, belong to Klok Klok Klan. That is my achievements, that is my interest uh, and why I want to go in Hungary or in any other country. This is about my education. Uh, this where I have learned or heard about this scholarship. This is the most important, mostly you can say, uh, you did say when you have applied many scholarship, they asked about where you see this advertisement or where, listen from where. Uh, that paragraph is about that. I have heard from my senior students and university professors about the studies of the Hungary. Uh, that this paragraph is most important. After graduation, your goal, what will you do when you are Study will complete in their countries, in Pakistan, or in any other country. After that, 
you will show that your uh, greetings or your uh, expressions i thank you for giving an opportunity to express myself your expressions and after at the end of sincerely muhammad usman this is the main this is also a main part of this document sincerely this is regards you can say that regards muhammad usman sincerely or any other word uh, which you feel better to impress your documents or your profile your personality your application thank you so much i hope this lecture or this motivation letter this method this points uh, will prepare you how to make your successful motivation letter thank you